Unfortunately, we couldn't save her. Age. If she was a human, she would be. Her heart couldn't bear the narcosis. Animals are just like humans. I'm sorry. dog year. Enjoy your meal. Is it granola? Costia, I've talked to a professional nutritionist. Baked oatmeal isn't as good for your stomach as boiled oatmeal. Granola is harder to digest, and it irritates the stomach. All right, let it be boiled. How is it going with that new movie guy? The film company is most likely to fail, so I'm going to advise him to accept their offer and move on. Why? I think you can get the whole amount. You need to make it to the register of creditors. Moreover, you should find others who were paid less than required. The more creditors claims you find, the harder it will be for the debtor. Interesting idea, listen. Can I ask you to look for those creditors? I'll give you the film company's name. Try to find something on the internet. Will do, Kostia. Going to tell you everything in the evening. Deal. I'm off to work. Don't wait for me in the evening. I'm going to the gym. I will wait. What do you want for dinner? Fish and veggies, and buy some bread with chia seeds. As you wish. Client is calling. All right, bye. Bye. Watch out, Gerda. Why is she here? Well, let's go for a walk. Zakhar Petrovich, I miss you. Me too. Hello? 
Hi, mom. Can you buy bread with chia seeds? What? Gerda and I went to four shops and still couldn't find any. I even went to another district. Will you, with chia seeds? Yes, Kostya wants it. All right. I said all right. With chia. He deserves belladonna. Yes, everything is all right. Yes, of course I'm waiting. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, my daughter will be there, of course. Yes, right. Right. I'm expecting you today at 10 p.m. All right. Dear friend, bye. Well, how is it going with the responding party? It's good. They wanted to accept the offer, but I've changed their minds. The film company is going to fail. However, the responding party will be included in the creditor's register, and we will get every last penny. Although we have to wait, but I believe it's better to wait and get everything they deserve. Good. Well done, I have a special approach to smart employees. Take it. Your new client. So the case is next. The owner of a new Jaguar parked by the shopping mall. While he was shopping, a sign fell on his new car. Nothing serious, but Jaguar's owner and the shopping mall's owner are rich people, and no one wants to give up. The case isn't a matter of money, it's all about power. Got it. As I can see, the shopping mall's owner appealed to the fact of illegal parking. That's why the fallen sign isn't his responsibility. Smart. Right. Your task is to be even smarter so that our client receives compensation. My apologies. I'll do my best. You have to. We are done. You can answer the call. Yes, I'm all yours, just a minute. Ilya Lapshin. Erase faces. Is it good? I haven't read it yet, but I do love the author. He knows how to write good detectives. Women who read detective novels are considered to have a dull life. Mom! Why do you think my life is boring? Is it cheerful, forever servant of her lord husband? Oh lord, why, why are you bringing up this again? Nothing helps. You don't change anything. What if I don't want it to change? What if I'm happy? I love my husband. He loves me. We have a perfect family, and we are happy. A housewife. You are the best at the university. Do you remember? My career is my family and my home. Kostya believes that woman is supposed to look after the house and bring up the children. We are working on the last one. Are you upset? I buried my dog a week ago. I had her for 13 years. Well, we're all going to die someday. That's good. The killer isn't the heroine's ex-husband as we all believe, but a well-known phacologist, I must say. You are good at describing maniacs, that's your strong side. In my youth, I read humanistic fiction. We all once read something, but today we publish books for the people. And today they want maniacs. Mm. 
People like what the marketing department sells to them. For God's sake. Come on, the usual reader has well-defined taste preferences. This humanistic fantasy isn't included. Taste can be cultivated. If you pay, if at the expense of the publishing house, then excuse me. We earn money here and don't do charity work. So if I understand correctly, you haven't read the manuscript called Career? Come on, just give up this fantastic. It's nothing right about these admirers and colonels. Circulations are growing, copyrights are growing, everyone is happy. That's it, deal. Do you love me? You know the answer. Don't check the time. I have dinner with Dad at 10. We have plenty of time. She is expecting me for dinner too, and I'm at the gym now. Again her? It's her. 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 I'm fed up. Kostia. We're doing gymnastics here for three months. You must tell her. I hope she has dignity, and she will leave you alone. My wife isn't the only one with whom we need to talk. Don't forget about your daddy. Imagine his reaction when he finds out that you date not only a married man, but also his employee. It's not a big deal. He loves me and wishes me all the best. And after all, he can promote you to a partner. But you are right about the married man. That's why you must talk and then divorce her. You talk to her, and I talk to my dad. I have to think. But not for long, Kostia. You have to decide, me or her. Don't forget your phone, otherwise, you will work out one more time. Sasha, not tonight. I have work in the morning. Turn off the light, please. Oh, 
Hold on, it's time to go home. Sweetie, come on. Incoming call, Zakhar Petrovich. I can't talk, gonna call you later. Kostia, breakfast is ready. I have no time, we'll have something at work. You just took shower, how? I'll be late. Bye. Yeah, bye. What happened? Kostia, where have you been? I've been calling you all evening to make it short. Daddy introduced me to his partner son during dinner. Dad said he is a good match. Don't you get it? He wants me to marry him. It's middle age. He didn't know about us before, but now he does. I'm at the gym now. Don't want to stay at home. And you, you get ready for conversation. Incoming call, Zavadsky. Hold on, second line. Yes, Andrei Mikhailovic. Understood. On my way. Well, well, Constantine. What do you have to say for yourself? Yes, I'm married. But I can assure you that we're about to divorce. Really? I myself have said this phrase so many times. It is the truth. Do you think Liko will help you to get a junior partner place? Why do you say so? I'm going to prove that I'm worth your daughter and a new occupation. Dig into it. Win a case, divorce your wife, and then... And then we talk, but now... Stay away from my daughter. I will do everything. Licka. What are you doing here? Sit. He is a tenacious boy. Is it bad for an advocate? It's great for an advocate, but bad for you. Can't you see it? It's a lie. We love each other. What the F love? Love is when you both are equal. In your case, it is hormones and immaturity. Really? You want me to marry that four eyes. But have you thought about how I can sleep with him? You cross the line, Lika. It's too much. That's my fault. You grew up without a mother and I spoiled you. I want to live with someone I want, but not you. 
She doesn't like four eyes guys. However, a married man is much better. He doesn't love her and promised to divorce her. Maybe you should have waited. If you don't want to, give me the keys. What keys? What keys? Apartment keys, car keys. Are you taking away my car? What did you expect? You have your man. Now let him think about where you will leave and what you will drive. My clothes. I can't wear sports stuff. The driver will bring it as soon as you inform me of your new address. You should be grateful I let you keep your phone. Get out! Forgot a car dealer's conclusion. Why haven't you reminded me to take it? Costia, don't worry. I'll find it. Maybe you left it in the room. Incoming call, Zakhar Petrovich. Lika, not now. Costia, I found it. I can't talk right now. I'll call you back. Don't you dare to hang up. Dad kicked me out. What? Just a minute. Is it a joke? Where are you? Near your house. I couldn't find you in the office. I have nowhere else to go. I can't even pay for a hotel. Kostia, be a man. You promised to tell her everything. Give me 10 minutes. I'll figure something out. You have five. Otherwise, I'll tell her. Kostia, are you okay? Problems with a client. I see, I open. Hello. <sighs> Who are you? Kostia. Kostia. I think you should introduce me. This is Lika. Sasha? Well. This is Lika. She will live here. What? Sasha, I don't love you anymore.
for how long? Listen, don't tell me that you haven't noticed anything. We live like neighbors, no feelings, no passion. It's all impossible, just look at you. Kostia, get rid of the dog. I'm scared. Wait here, come. We need to talk. Gerda, come. Kostia. What does it mean? Why is she here? Lika will be living here. I divorce you. Live here? What am I supposed to do? Sasha, I know you are an intelligent person. Don't make a scene, Sasha. Move with your mom. We sell the apartment later and we split the money half. I don't need to tell you about the property market. We gonna lose a lot. Too much money has been put here. And it was my, my money. Hey, I'm... I don't want to stay in the hall. Miss... My bad, I didn't catch your name. Aren't you sick of this situation? No, why would it? I'm not trying to save a broken marriage. And take Gerda with you, I'm not gonna walk her. Enough. Gerda, come. Sasha. Sasha, calm down. What should I do now? How to live? You live. No one has died. Here, drink. It's tasty on currants. I told you. Here. It's not for sales, obviously. You bought this apartment before marriage, didn't you? Yeah. Great, you owe her nothing. Make coffee. I don't know if I have any. Maybe you don't know, but we must have it. Okay. 
All right. I haven't changed anything. We can fit in. Fit in? We didn't used to have a dog. What's wrong with her tail? She does it when she is nervous. She should be nervous. Some clothes, a tablet, a crappy old car, and a dog. You are just like me. I have nothing but a minimum pension and radiculities, and that it. Here. What is it? Is it compensation? For a few weeks. And how can we survive on my pension? If you've forgotten, I'm a lawyer, gotta find work. Lord. I forgot everything, her bowl, a muzzle. I haven't even taken her bed in a hurry. Don't worry, she can have my old coat. For the first night, it's enough. What kind of crocodile is that? It's not a crocodile, it's a Leonberger. Such a giant and without a muzzle. Don't be afraid, we just moved in, and I'd forgotten to take the muzzle. We'll do everything today, I promise. If I see your crocodile without a muzzle one more time, I will call the police, never get past. Hey, Auntie, get your dog away. Exactly, I am Auntie. Hello? Hi. I forgot Gerda's stuff, her bowl, a muzzle, a bed, and a leash. One moment. Here, take it. Something else. Coffee. Yesterday, it was rather heavy-handed goodbye. No. Keep me informed about the apartment. Bye-bye. Come again. Doesn't she know that you aren't going to sell your apartment? I will tell her. Cook some fried eggs. Darling, I don't eat fried eggs. All right, gonna have breakfast at work. Sasha. Sasha, how can I help you? Nothing. I'll warm up the soup. Don't want to. Wait. Don't starve yourself. I'll go. Dear God. Nerd. <laughs> Nerd. 
Gerda, Gerda, get off. Now is not up to you. Zavatsky of Victoria, beloved wife and Happy birthday, Mommy! Still. Was your workout cancelled? Why do you say that? I remember everything. How is a new place? Or love can make any place agreeable. He has a great flat. I hope so. Thank you for the clothes. Dad. He is a good man. Really. And I love him. Please, accept it. Anyway, you live together. I can only watch what's going to happen next. We will be okay. You will see. Do you need a ride? Maybe. Oh, no, no. Don't even try. No car for you. All by yourself. By yourself. Gerda. What is that? Mum. Mum. What happened? Nothing. Gerda nearly broke a plate. Nothing happened. My apartment isn't big enough for such a big dog. All right, would you like some borscht? No sour cream. Mum, tell me, do I look bad? Sasha. I'm not pretty, right? What are you saying? You are the most beautiful. Look at me. We receive the expertise of official dealers. Repairs come out in a tidy sum. Camera recording, eyewitness accounts. We have got everything. We are ready to take the claim to court. If I were you, I would think about an alternative line of defense, in case something goes wrong. I'm sure of myself. Oddly enough, my daughter, too. Don't you think it's wrong? Victory will be mine. Well, go ahead. Are you here for an interview? Yes, Nick, to meet you once. Follow me. Come on, come on.
Dear Lord, Nina Ivanovna, don't stay on your knees. Get up. Easy, easy, easy. Easy, easy. My back. Is it your dog? My daughters? What did I say? You can't keep it at home. It's a crocodile, not a dog. It's good I pass by. Otherwise, who would help you? Thank you. Bless your soul. Thank you. Take care. Gerda, Gerda, come here. Sorry, what's next? We will call you. Mom. Mom. Yeah. Are you here? Yeah. What happened? Are you sick? What's wrong? It's radiculitis. God. Wait. Gerda saw a cat and pulled me. You can see a result. What have you done? Let's call an ambulance. And what? How can they help me? Use creams and bed rest. Better tell me, how was it? Bad. They name it, we will call you. Who needs a housewife lawyer with an honors degree without any work experience? Thank you, Kostia. A housewife. You could be so experienced. And your neighbor said she is going to write a report. What's there again? Gerda barks too loud. No one can sleep. That's a lie. Sometimes they knock louder. Well, let them invite a district police officer and we'll figure it out. Right, Gerda? Sasha, it became a problem. I can't walk, Gerda. And you have interviews, moreover. She has no place in this tiny apartment. And that neighbor, I don't know. We need to do something. We need to solve this problem. Mom, I hear you. I'll figure it out. Attention, looking for a new owner for my dog. Hello. Hello. I saw your ad. You are looking for a new owner for a dog, right? Right. Great. I'm Ilya. Dog year. 
Are there a lot of people? Let me say that you aren't the first one. A few people came, but we didn't like them. We want to find a good owner for her. Of course. My daughter has a difficult family situation. That's why she moved in. The apartment is tiny. The dog is huge. No one can walk her. Why did you decide to take a dog? My Martha died. She was a Leonberger too. Since then, I don't even want to be at home. I decided to adopt a puppy, but then saw your ad. Isn't it destiny? I don't believe in such a thing. Maybe you were right. Anyway, I know how to take care of such dogs. I'm sorry, but what do you do? I'm a writer. What are you writing about? Mum, does it matter? Dogs have surrounded me my whole life. Moreover, I was born in dog year. Trust me, I'll take good care of her. There is a dog park near my home. All her stuff, walk her at least twice. And don't forget about grooming. And she hates cats, always chasing them. That's right. Don't worry, it's gonna be all right. Have a good day. Come on, come, princess. Goodbye, it's gonna be okay. Don't worry. Come, come. Come on. Lawyer. Incoming call, Costia. Costia? What happened? On the shelf with pots and says, says, you brew coffee in it? No. Dishes are in the last cupboard, middle rack. Who was that? It was Kostia. Why is he calling you? Wanted to know how to make coffee. Are you a directory assistant? He kicked you out, therefore he's in charge of his coffee? Right? Coffee. Hello? Thank you, got it. Is it him again? It wasn't Kostia, mum. It's about an interview. They aren't interested in me. Miss them. Get it. What about some cheese balls? 
No, how can I help you? Let's miss them together. It's more fun. I'm home. Why did it take you so long? Missed me. Even though you had a night workout with someone else. What nonsense, let's eat. I can eat a horse now. I see. Where is dinner? What have you been up to all day? Your cooker is so odd. It takes forever to heat up and cool down. Coffee kicked in. Why didn't you buy groceries? Do I look like a horse? How should I bring it home without a car? About the car. I'm going out with the girls. Will you give me your car, right? So you want my car? What about me? It's only for one night. And it's your fault that Dad took my car? Kostiat. Darling, pretty please. One day. Be careful. Thank you, thank you. Kostya, come here. Kostya, what is it? Kostya. What's wrong? Nothing. The hair got stuck. Not a big deal. Maybe the pipes are old. Yeah, right, old. Where is the goddamn plunger? Incoming call, Kostia. Can you deal with it without your ex? Perfect. No shower, then. Hold it. Good morning. Why are you up? Do you have an interview? No. I'm gonna take Gerda back. What? Take Gerda back? I can't be without her, it's tearing my soul. Hold on, where is she gonna live? I'll talk to Kostia and ask him to sell the apartment now. Why do I have to get rid of her? We will find a bigger apartment with plenty of space for everyone. Fine. I want to see you happy. Go get her, go get her.
Gerda. Come on. Let's go for a walk. Walk, let's walk, princess. Come on, let's go. Come on, come on. Come, come, come. Good job, good job. Hold on, wait, wait. Yes. Ilya, hello, it's Sasha, Gerda's owner. Sasha, didn't expect your call. Can you talk? Of course. Please forgive me, but I'd like to take Gerda back. What do you mean? I think of her every day. I can't be like that anymore. She misses you too. Please don't get offended, but I'd like to come to take her. What can I say? Come. I'll be there soon. It wasn't destiny. Well, it wasn't meant to be. What are you doing, idiot? Can't you see me? Open your eyes. Hey. Do you hear me? Hey man, are you okay? Go. Girl? Just go. Is she unconscious? I'll call an ambulance. Yeah, yeah, we'll do. Go, go already, you've blocked the road, go. Baby girl, my baby, do you hear me? I can see and hear you. Am I in the hospital? What happened? An accident. A rich man hit your car at the traffic light. Bad luck to him. You have a concussion. That's why you had deep fainting. Also, there are different injuries all over your body. There is a displacement of the vertebral discs of the upper part of your spine. Is it curable? Of course. Have a rest. I'll visit you later. Even if he has a big car, he can't do whatever he wants, bastard. Have you seen my phone? There was no phone when the ambulance brought you here. Maybe you lost it. I need to call Ilya. I must explain why I didn't come. I don't remember his number. I don't get it. You have an odd owner. She herself called. All right, let's have lunch then. You must finish your meal. Okay. Okay. Mm. Smells so good. Mm. Huh? Miss, wake up. <sighs> Detective Denisenko. I work on your car accident case. How are you? More or less, I can give testimony. Great. I won't take much of your time. Your phone has crashed about your car. Well, 
you won't be able to use it again. Much worse with the victim's property. I'll have a seat. His vehicle was heavily damaged. You must understand the car is expensive. It's not your tin can. Moreover, victim Balashnikov has a gash on his eyebrow in this. Victim? And this is article intentional infliction of harm to health of moderate severity. Do you understand your place? Wait, why do you call him a victim? Well, your doctor said you can't talk too much. Just sign your testimony and we're done. Sign here. Take a pen. I haven't read it. So I'm not going to sign it. And why are you referring to Biloshnikov as the injured party when I'm the one in the hospital with spine damage? Is it a joke? It's written that I crossed the road at the red traffic light. What rubbish is that? That was him. I advise you to sign it. Otherwise, you personally will have much more problems. Why do you need it? Go from one door to another. You need to take care of yourself, not fight the system. How are you going to cover the damage? Your insurance won't help it. So you've decided to turn the situation inside out and blame me? You aren't helping yourself. We will see it. Take this rubbish away. Baby girl. Hello, I. Good day. Brought you some. Hello. Who is that? He is a detective, mum, and he's already leaving. Goodbye. I warn you. Are you threatening me? So, Sasha, wait, you aren't allowed to get up. Hold on, mum. Sasha. It isn't the 90s. If you have friends, it doesn't tell it him. Sasha, are you hurt? Are you okay? It's better now. Go back to your room. Don't worry, I can make it. Come on, thank you. Biloshnikov is trying to frame me? If I manage to prove that he is guilty, he will pay for everything. Don't get nervous, baby girl. Sit, here you go. Go home, mom. You need to rest. Do you need something from home? My tablet. I must text Ilya and explain why I didn't come to take Gerda. And I want to write an announcement. Maybe someone saw an accident and will text me back. Of course. You will find witnesses. The world is not without good people. Lie down. I'll try to file a countersuit against Biloshnikov. I'll defeat myself. We will win this case, don't doubt it. You won't regret your work with us. See you soon.
Kostya, hello. Nina Ivanovna, hello. We are in trouble. Sasha is in the hospital. What? What happened? She was in a car accident. What a disaster. Will you help her? Can you come? Of course, we'll do everything I can. We aren't strangers. Hospital number 17. Sure. Hospital. I see. How are you? To be honest, I'm in pain. Well, it's supposed to be like that. It would have been worse if you felt nothing. I'm putting your discharge papers. In a few days, you will start a course of physiotherapy. It's inconvenient, but you have to attend the procedures. In addition, I have great news for you. Your physiotherapist is excellent. Must say, he is the best. Here he is. Meet Igor Yuryevich. Here is your new patient. We've already met each other at some point. Alexandra. Hey. How are you? How am I? What are you doing here? Did mum call you? She asked to keep her secret. You are wearing a corset. I hope it isn't bad. Nina Ivanovna said you're gonna sue the perpetrator of the accident. I'm ready to help you, if you need. Listen, Sasha. Here is a thing, let me help you. I need your advice. My client is trying to demand compensation from the defendant for damage to the car. But the respondent, in turn, is trying to challenge the lawsuit, reveling in the parking violation. Look, it's very important that my client will get very good compensation. To be honest, he and the defendant are tight-fisted. Can they end it up peacefully? Are you kidding me? Not at all. Settle the issue amicably and collect money for the repair of a damaged car from the contractors who installed the sign, collective action with compensation for material and moral damage. Great idea. Yes, Kostya, since you said it. I'm being discharged tomorrow, can you take me home? I don't have car now. Of course, no problem. Tomorrow at 10 in the morning. I'll be at the hospital at 5 minutes to 10. Almost forgot, I bought you candy. I don't eat chocolate now. Thanks for the idea. I'll go. Kostya, I also wanted to tell you one more thing. So. Let's sail of the apartment. I don't know what will happen to me next, but I need money. Let's make an announce. Good. So tomorrow the client will sign a settlement agreement with compensation, and... I see, and I'll get a raise. So this is what happens. You turned it upside down on those who made the sign. Cool, figured it out yourself. 
Of course, how was your day? Well trained. Mm -hmm. And learn to open your door. Although the castle is shaking, it should be replaced. Listen, I would like to eat something. <laughs> Darling, there is a delivery service for that. Here. And where is he? Promise to be at 5 to 10. I'll call him. Mom. What mom? What mom? Here, speak yourself. Kostia, where are you? We are waiting for you. I'm not up to you now. My car was taken away. Lika, damn it. What did he say? That someone took his car. The car was taken. He's lying. Why did you call him at all? Because I thought he had a conscience, and he has nothing left. Don't worry, baby. I'll order a taxi. Excuse me, can I give you a ride? No, thanks, no need. Sure, give us a ride, thanks. Then let's go. Let's go. Excuse me, I'm late, a problem with the car. Where is the client? Where is everyone? The client canceled the appointment. He didn't like your line of defense. Wait a minute, what do you mean? I've thought of everything. Well, one interesting moment appeared. The contractor's firm belongs to the plaintiff's wife, who is our client. The parties parted amicably, although our client did not lose money. He is not satisfied with the outcome of the case and your work? Constantine. I wanted the best. There is nothing more to talk about. As it is said, to each according to his work. Carefully. What's wrong? Does back hurt? Yes, for a long time. Have you been involved in sports before? Well, what can I tell? In my youth, I had a rank in swimming, but now it hurts so much that I can't even do Nordic walking. Chronic sciatica. I see. Call this number and refer to me. They should help. They know how to curb radiculitis there. Thank you very much. And I'm waiting for you the day after tomorrow at the procedures. All the best. Thank you, goodbye. Looks like he liked you. Mom, don't talk nonsense. He is just a good man who took pity on unfortunate women. I wonder why we're unfortunate. And he's very cute. So don't be stupid. Let's go home. Sasha, T. Yes, mom, can you help me insert the SIM card? There is not a single response to my ads. 
Don't worry, there were cars there. So someone saw the accident and will definitely respond. This someone must have a video recorder, then Biloshnikov will not get out, it's not just about me. He can kill someone else, everything will be according to the law this. Who's so persistent? Kostia, what did you advise me? Five messages from Kostia. What does he want? He is angry. 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 Is he mad at you? The scheme that I advised him didn't work. I need to go to the store to buy you dairy products. Can you manage on your own? Yes. All right. Ilya. Do you need this little dog? That's it. Come on, come on, come on. Sit, 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 sit. Sit, sit. Sit. Yes, Sasha. It's all right. How are you feeling? And already been discharged. Great, good to hear. Let's do this, wait. I'll come to you. Great, agreed, so thank you, see you. Well, why are you constantly jumping on me, dog, huh, dog? Hello, son-in-law. What are you doing here? I came to ask you how to kill you. Right away or do you prefer to suffer? Nina Ivanovna, you are an adult. Are you going to make a fuss here? Nina Ivanovna, do not disgrace yourself. Look, people are already looking at us. Are you afraid of shame? I'll tell everyone how you left your wife. Hush, Nina Ivanovna. And then deceived her, poor, sick, and helpless woman. Please, why did you come here? Do you need money? Kostya, you have no shame at all. People beg on the porch? And you, by law, owe her half of an apartment. How can I give it? I need to sell it first. Well, if I were you, I would sell the apartment, and then I would bring my mistress. Please. What's going on here? Why are you interfering with my employee's work? Hello. Excuse me, please. I'm Nina Ivanovna. I'm the mother-in-law of this employee of yours. Former mother-in-law. No, there is no divorce stamp in the passport, so I am your mother-in-law. Do you have any troubles here? Nina Ivanovna, you know, I just thought you can take everything, please. I am very sorry that Sasha had an accident. I hope she gets better soon. You know, take this money. Take it. Take it, take it. And about the apartment, hurry up. And stop texting Sasha. She doesn't have to do your job. I'm sorry. Have a good day. All the best. Goodbye. Bye. And goodbye to you. Goodbye. Excuse me, I couldn't do anything with her. 
She's crazy. Hello, Kostia. Why don't you pick up so long? And what's up with the lock anyway? Is it rusty? I haven't been able to get home for five minutes now. You don't have coffee, but I can't live without coffee, so I went to the store to buy it. And also, I had a fight with your neighbor because he smokes on the stairs. I can't stand it when people smoke on the stairs. Can you sort out your own problems for once? What are you staring at? Hey! Hello, where is my dog? Sasha, I decided not to bring Gerda for now. I wanted to make sure you were able to take care of her. Now I see. You aren't able yet. Why do you care? Give my dog back. I, myself, will decide whether I am able or not. Would you like some tea? Sasha, I want the best for everyone. Gerda misses you. Last time, your mother had back pain. And now you have it too. I see. Don't worry, I'll look after her. Take care of her while you recover. Is there anything else I can help? You are helping already. Time loop, fantastic. Is it interesting? Yes, I generally love detectives, but someone left it in the hospital. I started reading and found it interesting. It is a pity that I, like this hero, cannot travel in time to fix everything. If you want, you can take it. It's not mine, anyway. Thanks. I think about Gerda all the time, I miss her. But I understand that it will be stressful for her. Sasha, you can always text me. Try not to be nervous. Your health is the most important thing right now. Thanks. Don't see me off. I remember where the door is. Are we going to be silent? I'm not silent. I just doubt that you are a reliable man. Look at her. Does that mean I'm still unreliable? Is it okay that I spent the whole day on public transport for you? You know, dear, the car needs to be filled with something and a credit card, by the way, too. If a man is not able to provide a woman so that she does not need anything, you better sleep in the living room today. Lika, wait. Okay, well. I overreacted. I'm sorry. I admit it's my fault. Look. There are so many problems right now. Also, the lawsuit failed. So much work down the drain. These are temporary difficulties. I will work very hard so that you do not need anything. Okay. 
You're forgiven. Do you want me to talk to dad so that he would give you a new case? I don't want you to beg for me. I want. Talk to him tomorrow. Well, talk. I will. You are the best thing in my life. Just don't forget about it. How can I? There was an accident recently. Maybe you saw something. No, I didn't. Hello, sorry. There was an accident the other day. Hello, maybe you saw two cars collide here a week ago. Hello, sorry, there was an accident here a week ago, no? Thank you. Scared? A little bit. To be honest, very much. Don't be, you won't even feel it. Like this and this. Like this and this. Now can tell me about anything you want while the impact is going on. I feel some kind of vibration. This is meant to be like that. This is wonderful. You feel the effect of ultrasound. This means that your neck hasn't lost sensitivity. By the way, are you going home after the procedure? I can take you. No, no need. You have many patients. No, actually, I have a lunch break. I rarely eat here, so I can give you a lift home. Excuse me, can I answer? Yes, yes. Hello? Alexandra, Detective Denison Co. There is new information on your case. You can come. Is something wrong? Could you give me a lift to the police station? dog year. Would you like some tea? No, thank you. You're missing out. Do you know that tea calms you down and lowers blood pressure? My blood pressure is fine. My back hurts. So, can we get straight to the point? You didn't invite me here for tea, did you? Of course not. So, how do you feel? I'm wearing a corset. Unpleasant thing. You'll probably need a long time to recover. It's costly and troublesome nowadays. What are you getting at? I think that Mr. Baloshnikov could provide you with some help. Let's say, pay for procedures in a good clinic. So, that's what you're up to, first, 
You threatened me, and now you're trying to bribe me. Why are you like that? This isn't a bribe. I'm trying to talk to you like a human being. Why didn't you try to talk to me like a human being from the beginning? You and your Belashnikov didn't even consider that I would defend myself. You thought I would be scared and confess. Now you've decided to be generous and offer medical services. Well, understand this. You won't succeed. Belashnikov will pay for my surgery anyway, by law. To do that, you need to prove that he's guilty and then there's a long recovery procedure. It's all time-consuming. It's nerve-wracking. It's okay. I'm willing to sacrifice both. Belashnikov must lose his license and not be allowed near a car at all. I have a suspicion that he was drunk while driving his vehicle. You have a mistaken assumption. Experts didn't find any traces of alcohol in Belashnikov's blood. In that case, I'll dispute the results of the examination through the court. I just don't understand why you're being so stubborn. Will you feel better if he loses his license? But you're already sitting in a corset. You seem like a sensible person. You must understand that it's better to negotiate than a fight, especially in your condition. If I were you, I'd go to a sanatorium and get treated there. I'll definitely go there. After Belashnikov officially compensates me for my losses. Yes. So it's war? As they say in one movie, a thief should be in prison. Right? So, a reckless driver should walk. You can't bribe me like that. So tell your Belashnikov, if you're done, goodbye. All the best. Sasha, maybe you will agree to his offer after all. What are you saying? It's humiliating. We really need the money. You're not working. And then there's this corset. How will you get treated? Our health care is only free in words. If I win the lawsuit, We'll have the money, full compensation for everything, and he'll be held responsible for everything in a criminal case, and it's right to take away his rights. What if you don't win? Why wouldn't I? I was the best in the course. Oh my God. Sasha, don't worry, don't worry. I will handle everything now, right away. Do you see what he did to me? And you suggest agreeing to his pathetic offers for all this? Honey, please forgive me. I just wanted what was best. Sorry. I'm just nervous. You know what I think. I think if you're confident in your abilities, you should sue him. What? How's your sciatica? My sciatica. You know, it's gone. Completely gone, you know? I'm just shocked myself. No consequences. Those doctors that Igor recommended are just wizards. Please tell him a big thank you from me. Okay, you'll see him tomorrow, right? Well, just tell him. Well, got your appetite back? Do you like it here with me? Good. Time loop, fantastic.
Hello. Sabatsky Law Firm. And down. Good, that's enough. That was an exercise for the forearm. Can I go for a run? Running is unlikely, but you can try stepping. I haven't done any sports for a hundred years. It's never too late. By the way, I used to run in school. I even got a sports rank. Can we increase the speed? Are you sure? Within the therapy framework. You could say that, honestly. I want to invite you on a date. A date? Can we increase the speed? Sasha, 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 how are you? Breathe, I can't breathe. Well, look, Igor, as I suspected. So, is everything bad? I'll call your mom. She's been waiting in the corridor. Thank you. I'll be honest with you. The prognosis is bad. Disc displacement causes deformation of the spinal column, which in turn compresses the internal organs. Your pain and difficulty breathing are the results of this pressure. Sasha needs surgery, and the sooner, the better. Does she need to be hospitalized urgently? You know, unfortunately, it's not that simple. Such high-tech operations are performed according to a quota. She will have to wait for over a year. What should I do? The only option left is to pay for the operation with your own money. But it's very expensive. Yes, and we don't have any money. We won't turn this into a tragedy. I'm preparing for the trial and hoping for the best outcome. The culprit of the accident will pay for the operation. I will be jumping over puddles again. What was that, a date? Yes, I'll pick you up tonight. Until tonight, goodbye. 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 You're a dog. Can we somehow expedite her surgery? Listen, have I ever asked you for anything like this before? And now I'm asking you, be a human being. I'll try to do something, but I can't make any promises. Thank you for making time. I'd like to believe my daughter missed me and decided to see me. But I'm a realist. I'll go ahead and try to guess. Tired of walking? No, well, it's not very comfortable without a car. But I'm not here to beg for one. So what did you come to beg for? Dad, I came because of Kostya. Give him a promising case. Let's say I give him a promising case. What will that change? What do you mean? Everything. Kostya will win the case with flying colors. And you'll see for yourself that he's worthy of being my husband and then your son-in-law. 
Listen, how can he become a top-class lawyer by solving problems for housewives with leaking ceilings? So he appointed you here. You should have asked for a car instead. Why are you like this? He doesn't even know I'm here. Seriously? Seriously, and God forbid he finds out. Otherwise, we'll have a fight. Your Costio already had a promising case. He didn't show any brilliance. He just had bad luck. Do you think he'll be lucky next time? Of course, just give him a second chance. He won't let you down. I'll think about it. Dad, please give him a good case. Are you sure you don't want to have lunch? Dad, please. If you say so. Please, do it for me. Hello, Sasha. You look amazing. Yes, yes, new lipstick. It complements my corset nicely. Have you decided where we're going? I know a great restaurant. Let's not go to a restaurant. I'll show you the way. All right. Copyright law is a very serious and complex area. On the one hand, it is an unexplored field, and on the other hand, nowadays no one respects authors. I must confess, I read all books for free on the internet. Do you know the writer Ilya Lapshin? No. I haven't read him either. But he accuses the biggest publishing houses of stealing his manuscript. Unfortunately, I am not familiar with his relationship with the publishing house, but I think we can turn this situation to our advantage. We need to turn it around and get not only a feed but also compensation from the publishing house. Yes. Thank you very much. I won't let you down. This is the last chance. Constantine, don't miss it. I will try my best. Here's probably our writer. Yes, please come in. Hello. Good afternoon. I'm Andrei Zavadsky, and this is Konstantin, who will be handling your case. Please have a seat. I'm Ilya Lapshin, and now all our hopes are on you. You said today that you haven't been doing sports for a long time. And I, it seems, haven't been out in nature for ages. Yeah. I haven't been to this park for a long time either, although in my student years, we spent all our free time here. Where did you study? At the law school. We used to come here with the entire course and feed the ducks with bread rolls, which we then ate ourselves, we dreamed. I personally dreamed of defending honest people from scoundrels. What about now? Now I'm trying to defend myself from a scoundrel, but, unfortunately, he's not alone. Scoundrels always flock together. But I think, Sasha, not everything is so hopeless. The world is changing for the better, and there are always more good people than bad ones. Not knowing about the rest. But you seem to me a very kind and honest person. Really? I'm sorry. Igor, I need to go home. Did I do something wrong? It's not about you. I found a witness to my car accident who has a recording from a dashboard camera. If that's the case, then I'll give you a ride. That's good news, Sasha. I'm happy for you. Please tell us how it all happened. How it happened? 
I sent them a manuscript of my science fiction novel on a flash drive. They rejected it. After a while, I saw that they published a book by an unknown author with a different title, but exactly the same plot as mine. They even plagiarized pieces of my text. Can you tell me why they rejected your manuscript? It wasn't in their format, but it turned out to be very much in their format for plagiarism. Do you still have any correspondence with the publisher? Unfortunately, there's no correspondence, but I sent a copy of the flash drive to myself. It has a date stamp. Excellent. I'm starting to prepare a pretrial claim. Perfect. Well, goodbye. I'm home. Everything worked out for me. I got a new job. I didn't doubt it. I'll be pushing the publishing house to pay the writer a fee with compensation. Listen, did you tell your dad about our meeting? No, what are you talking about? You're turning out to be a schemer. What wouldn't you do for love? Kostya, you have to win this case, and then my dad will make you our partner. And we'll file an application to the registry office. Wow. How's your divorce going? It's in process. You know, there's bureaucracy everywhere. And then we exchange my and your apartments for one big one. Cool. Yeah. Amazing idea. Let's celebrate. Did you make all of this yourself? <laughs> of course not. By the way, Kostya, I'm completely out of cash. I barely found something for the careers tip. I see. I'll go wash my hands. How good it is that you finally found each other. Actually, I didn't go anywhere. Would you like some tea? I'll make it now. Yes, please. I stopped to check on you, and that guy told me to leave, saying I'll handle it myself, so I left. But I did make it home and called the police right away. They called me in the next day, took the recordings, and that was it. No one contacted me after that, but... They didn't expect me to make a copy at their department. You did the right thing. That's what I thought when I stumbled upon your ad today. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I don't like people like that myself. So, I'm glad to help and hopefully it's not too late. In three days, I have my first hearing. Can I ask you to be my witness? Actually, I was planning to go to my dacha with friends to have a barbecue. What wouldn't you do for the sake of the truth? Thank you. No problem. Let's go have some tea. Thank you. Witness, do you claim that Mr. Balashnikov's SUV began moving on a red light? Were you following him? Yes, in the next lane. When the light turned green, I started moving. The SUV had already collided with a car. Are you absolutely sure that Mr. Balashnikov's SUV began moving on a red light? Perhaps you both started moving at the same time, and he simply accelerated faster. Objection. The witness is being pressured. Objection overruled. Continue. I'm not sure, at least. I was definitely moving on the green. Thank you. No further questions. Your Honor. I would like... 
to submit a video recording as evidence. Do you have anything to add? Yes, Your Honor. The witness submitted a copy of this video recording to the local police station. The recording was seized, but it was not included in the case for some reason. Witness, do you confirm what you said? Yes, of course. In addition, I made a request to the Department of Security in relation to investigator Denisenko. It turns out that he has been disciplined multiple times for illegal actions during the investigation. I assume there is a criminal conspiracy to pressure the victim and witness, conceal evidence, and manipulate the facts of the case. Also, the forensic examination that Mr. Biloshnikov underwent was conducted in a private expert laboratory. which means that the results of the examination can be considered illegitimate. Bulashnikov Sergei Vladimirovich is found guilty of a road traffic accident that caused serious bodily harm and material damage. What is this? We will file an appeal. Appeal? I'll give you an appeal right now. Let's go. Congratulations, Sasha. Your case received publicity. I learned about it from internet publications, and I don't regret coming today. Thank you. And who are you, please? Just interested. Can I give you a ride somewhere? No, thank you. We have someone to take us. Well, we'll see each other again. We will. Yes, of course. Are you satisfied now? Do you think you've won? I have nothing, and officially I have no property. So, you'll be waiting for the money until you're old. Sasha, what did this scoundrel say to you? Just got released. Thank God we made it. So where are we going to celebrate? Igor, please forgive us. My mom and I are very tired. Can I ask you to take us home? Please. Yes, of course. Sasha, is everything okay? I won the case. But the culprit turned out to be bankrupt. It can't be that everything was in vain. Can we demand some amount from him? According to the law, the bailiffs are required to write off money from accounts only if there are any. You can't write off nothing. A.N. Miss Call, A.N. has you completely lost your conscience, call back. I don't want to give you false hope, but there is a chance to speed up the operation. Oh God, thank you.
My dear daughter, don't worry. Sell the apartment, and you'll be able to pay for the operation. I'll call Kostia today. I'll find out if there's any interest from buyers. Hello? Who is it? Yes, I think I can tomorrow. Okay. See you, Zavatsky, Kostya's boss. He wants to see me tomorrow in the office to discuss work. Dear Lord, Yes. I told you we would definitely meet. Hello? Hello, Sasha. Please come in and have a seat. I must say, you're practically a celebrity with all the discussions online about you. What's the use? Belashnikov went bankrupt and there's nothing to take from him. All his property is in his relatives' names, and I was left with nothing and a corset. Still, there is some use. Take a look. This is today's press. They've written about you in all these newspapers. A housewife's case, justice is served. My, oh my. Reputation is an important thing in the modern world, and he certainly damaged his. I think a real bankruptcy is in his near future, not just a fake one. So this is your victory, Sasha. Would you like some tea or coffee? No, thank you. Have you had a chance to look around yet? Yes, it's bright and spacious. It is. We try to make it comfortable for people. I think you'll like it here. The conditions are good. And there's potential for growth through partnership. What's bothering you? My corset. Personally, that doesn't bother me at all. When are you ready to start? Excuse me. Is that your daughter? Yes. She's my daughter. Have you met somewhere? I'm ready to start from tomorrow. Great. Excuse me. Is that you? Hello, Kostya. How are you? Fine. What are you doing here? Did you come for me? Your boss has a very beautiful daughter, good for him. What about our apartment? Nothing yet, no buyers. And you're still in your corset. That's none of your business. Please bring me the ad copy and photos you made for the apartment sale tomorrow. Maybe you chose bad photos that are turning potential buyers away. Well, well, have you had enough walking? All right, let's go home, let's go. I need to work. All right. All right, all right, had enough walking, let's go home. Stay. Gerda, stay. Gerda, Gerda, calm down. How much she missed you. Ilya, I've made a decision. Let Gerda stay with you.
Come here, dog, turn around, sit. Sit in the legs. There is no truth. Sasha, why are you doing this? You can contact foundations that will help raise money for the surgery. Don't worry about me, everything will be fine. What do you mean don't worry? There was so much that happened. You're not a stranger to me at all. If that's the case, then I ask you to make sure Gerda is doing well with you. Sasha, you can come and walk with us anytime you want. Sasha. No, Ilya, Gerda is now your dog. Sasha, oh, Sasha. Sasha. It's perfect for the office. One second. I can imagine the look on Kostya's face when he saw it was you. Yeah, he was surprised. I hope you won't shrink, let him choke. Nothing can make him choke. I feel like something is bothering you. Is it because of Kostya? What does Kostya have to do with it? It's because of Gerda. Call Ilya. Let him come and visit us with Gerda. I already visited them today, said goodbye. Why so abruptly? In this situation, I'll only be a burden to them. Maybe it's for the best. No, that's not appropriate at all. That's not even appropriate clothing for a date. Do you like Igor? I do. I just don't think I'll be able to fall in love with anyone after Kostya. You know what? Let's wait and see. Last time we were interrupted, so this time I specifically brought a bread roll. Yeah. I can't break it off. Who would have thought that even for simple things in life, you need a healthy spine? I had a patient with very severe fractures who said that happiness for him was being able to scratch his nose on his own. Yes, when we're healthy, we don't appreciate it. I'll get an answer this week. If it is possible to get an expedited quota for you. I hope it won't burden anyone. Careful. Be careful. You never let me fall. I think that's good. Sorry. I think the ducks on the other shore missed out on some bread. Thank you for the evening. The ducks definitely seemed satisfied. Not just the ducks. Honestly, I didn't even notice. I think I don't have the strength to be happy anymore. It's boring for me to go on dates right now. We'll talk tomorrow. I'll find a reason to make you... to make you happy.
I'm already on my way home. Let's talk when I get back. Yes, yes. Hello? Hello, Sasha, come in. Nice to see you. Do you want coffee or tea? No, thank you. Before you sign an employment contract with me, I need to tell you something. I know. I already did some background checks, actually, at first. I thought you and Constantine were just namesakes. In fact, we are just namesakes. We just need to sort out the formalities and stamp the divorce. Sasha, I think you will be a good employee. Are you ready to meet the first case? Hello? Sorry you had to wait. This is Alexandra R. Young. Tian. But a very promising lawyer. I thought someone more mature would be here. I assure you, there's no one more mature. Good luck. Please sit down. I'm getting divorced from my husband. Was it your initiative? It was my initiative based on his actions. He's been cheating on me. My husband is a doctor and I know he's having an affair with one of his patients. I hired a private detective. Here's the evidence of his infidelity. Is something wrong? Nothing. They're just walking around here. Did you want them to be in bed together? Look. He's holding her hand. And now he's hugging her. It's just a shame we can't see the girl's face. What do you want to get out of the divorce proceedings? Half of the property. There's quite a bit. To apartments, cars, a country house. But there's a small hitch. Everything I just listed was his before we got married. So the property wasn't jointly acquired. But it should have been. But it should have been. You understand that it's impossible, right? That's what the lawyer told me, who promised to be very helpful. My husband is a doctor. Let him know that having an affair with a patient could be detrimental to his career. Are you suggesting that I blackmail him? I thought lawyers would have more tactful phrasing. <laughs> That's up to you. I have more. In America, I would have filed for a divorce on the grounds of adultery. But we're not in America. Unfortunately. Hello, oh, hi, can I sit? So, you're working with us now. I'm surprised. You look good. Has Zavadsky given you a case yet? Don't worry, 
he's usually lenient with newcomers. I have a complicated case right now. A writer is suing his publishing house, they plagiarized his manuscript, I've almost resolved everything. They're willing to pay my fee, sign a contract retroactively, but you see, they're forcing him to have one trendy blogger, whose name they recently published the novel under, as a co-author of his book. Lapshin is the author. He doesn't want to do it. What was the surname? Lapshin. Ilya Lapshin is a great author. I enjoyed reading his books while I was at home not working. Well, I don't know, I haven't read them. Sasha can't talk, Igor. Sasha, we need to talk. Hey, Kostia. I received a notification today about the court hearing for the divorce. Did you bring me the advertisement for the sale and photos of our apartment? I forgot. I will come myself this week, take pictures, write the ad copy, and post it in all the real estate sections. Why bother? I'll bring everything tomorrow, really. Excuse me, can you help me? Sasha, what are you doing here? I work here. Well, today is my first day. Great. Do you happen to know where Constantine is? I really need to speak with him. Wait, are you the writer Ilya Lapshin? That was me this morning. I know you for a long time and I adore your books. I'm even generally aware of your dispute with the publisher. Let me show you to the conference room. Constantine will be here soon. Thank you. Good day, Nina Ivanovna. Good day. Do you remember me? Yes, yes. I remember you, Sasha's boss and this employee of yours. And I saw you at court. I also thought your face looked familiar. Yes, I was in court. And actually, I wanted to congratulate you. But at that moment, you were so engrossed in a conversation with someone that. And what are you doing here with your belated congratulations? Nina Ivanovna, I would like to talk to you about your ex-son-in-law, Constantine. And then, if you don't mind, I will invite you to a nice restaurant for lunch. If you are not in a hurry. No, I won't go to the restaurant. I don't have time. But I'll tell you everything about Kostia. I'll tell you everything as it is. Thank you. In that case, please. Of course, it's in their interest for you to agree to a settlement on their terms. A scandal would be more expensive. They assure me that there was no plagiarism, that some blogger stole my manuscript, and I was posting the manuscript in parts online. Now it's not about who stole it. Maybe the blogger themselves, or an ordinary editor, or even the chief editor. The fact is that the stolen text was published, your text. It's doubly offensive. They accused me of being unprofessional and then just decided to publish this blogger. Dog year. Bloggers are more popular than Hollywood stars these days. Unfortunately, why didn't I think to ask what your profession is before? And I didn't immediately realize that you were my favorite author. Sorry, I'm late. No problem, Alexandra and I were just talking. I have to go. Sasha, it was great talking to you. Likewise. Do you know each other? None of your business. Shall we begin? Yes, of course. 
Alexandra told me something. I was already ready to agree to a settlement. But do we not hurry too much? Igor, five missed calls. Incoming, Igor. Yes? Sasha, hello. Why aren't you answering the phone? I'll finish work in an hour. Let's meet near the office. Okay, I'll come over. Licka. And what are you doing here? Sit. Let's talk. Can we at least go upstairs? I see. By the way, about the apartment, do you know that it belongs to him and his ex-wife jointly? Where did you hear that? And anyway, who knows what people are gossiping about? Don't worry, I found out from the right source and checked, requested data from the registry and verified it myself. I don't care about that data. Maybe they're outdated. And anyway, if Kostya says it's his apartment, then it is. You should still ask him to show you the documents. Dad. You know he left his ex-wife in trouble after she got into an accident. At first, he promised to help, and then just disappeared. She's his ex for a reason. And anyway, you know if you start helping all your exes, you won't get far in life. And if you were in her place? I have to go. Hey, can we talk? I wanted to tell you. I didn't know how to do it best. Why lie right away? Why can't you just be straightforward? If your wife hadn't come to this company, I would still be in the dark. I'm the one to blame. It isn't your fault. But I'm getting a divorce. Anyway, my marriage with Allah has long since run its course. And she never loved me. She got married because the clock was ticking and there were no other candidates. And now she's even decided to make money on the divorce. Sasha. Sasha, I would have filed for divorce myself, but she was the first one. Perhaps I won't be able to handle this. But why? I want you to handle it. Sasha. Sasha. I fell in love with you at first sight in the hospital. Please believe me. I have the most serious intentions. 
Igor, forgive me. I beg you, believe me. Be careful, I can't handle sudden movements right now. Sorry, let me at least help you. No need. Sasha. Yes. Excuse me for bothering you. I have a very important problem that I'd like to discuss. I'm listening. This concerns our new employee, Alexandra. You mean your ex-wife? That's the thing, unfortunately. I know her too well to not worry. Did she give you a reason to worry? Yes. How should I put it? She was flirting with my client Lapshin today. She told him that I had built the wrong defense line and generally bad-mouthed me behind my back. You know, I consider this a serious violation of corporate ethics. Did Lapshin decide to refuse your services? What? No. Then what are you worried about? I wanted to warn you that Alexandra is not exactly an honest person. And she might be playing a double game and wants to steer Lapshin towards a disadvantageous deal. Tell me, Kostya, how's your client from the film world doing, the one the film company owed money to? The company will go bankrupt, it's a lengthy process, but we've taken all the necessary measures and are waiting, so what about Alexandra? I heard you. Time will tell who's who. Any other questions? You can go. Mom, stop it. Well, you're not the first to fall for a married man. And he's handsome, at your age. I would have fallen for him too. And then he's getting a divorce if you love him. I don't love him. I think I love someone else. Who, Kostya? Mom, what does Kostya have to do with this? Then who? Ilya. Ilya. The new owner of our Gerda? <laughs> Call and ask how our Gerda is doing. Mom. What's so scary about it? Maybe he likes you too. Why would he need me? You know, my dear, if a woman is loved, she is needed, along with all her problems. Too many impressions for today, afraid I won't sleep. It's okay, I'll give you some valerian drops. Hello? Nina Ivanovna, hello. This is Zabatsky calling. I still would like to invite you to have dinner with me tonight. No, it's not very convenient for me to talk right now. If it's possible, tomorrow. Okay, good night. 
Who was that? Someone I know. I helped him with something. And now he invited me to a restaurant. You should go? Yes. You're right. Of course. Too many impressions for one day. I'm afraid Valerian drops won't be enough. Let's have a little drink. You're so quiet today. Is something wrong? Kostya, you need to decide about the car. Two cars in the family. That's normal. Can I make two more baths just in case? Maybe you will clog the first one again. By the way, having two baths in the apartment is not a luxury anymore. Why don't you really make a second bath? It's your apartment, right? Isn't it, Kostya? Okay, why did you start this conversation? Show me the documents. What documents? For the apartment. The certificate of ownership or whatever you have. I don't understand why you're leading up to this. Kostya. Show me those damn documents where it's written that it's your apartment. Yours and no one else's. Of course, it's mine. Why did you suddenly start doubting that? Don't bullshit me. Show me the documents. Why should I show them to you? So you won't show them, right? That means you have something to hide, and I even know what it is. Because this apartment is yours and your ex's. What does my ex have to do with this? If you want to know, I can't show the documents because I don't have them. What do you mean you don't have them? That's it. I gave them to the real estate agency. I'm selling the apartment and their condition is that they need the original documents plus the set of keys I wanted to surprise you, but it's too late now. It won't work. So you're selling the apartment? Yes. I wanted us to have some money. You wanted to trade your apartment for a bigger one with a surcharge, didn't you? Please, find some options. Yes, but my father didn't even give me the keys to my apartment. I guess I was too hasty. But I wanted it to be better. Kostya. Forgive me. I behaved like a bitch. I forgive you. Just don't doubt my words so much, okay? Never. Yes, I told you this lawyer won't let you down. We have a deal. Join in. Sasha, you're just in time. Sit down. Do you want to explain what you did? 
I was just about to decline due to personal circumstances. What did you do that Allah's husband agreed to everything? He agrees to a divorce and to give up half of their property pre-trial. Our client doesn't understand what happened to him. And he even said that his wife found the right lawyer. Sasha, can you tell us if you have some secret technique for managing people? I think he decided to act like a man and leave his wife beautifully. Not everyone can do that. Yeah. So what were you talking about, personal matters? May I be excused for a couple of hours? It's a personal matter. You're the heroine today. You can do anything. Thank you. If I knew there were ducks here, I would have brought some bread. How are you feeling? Not very well, but I still wanted to talk to you. Sasha, Kostya says I need to agree to the publisher's compensation. The fact that they are willing to pay something is already good. I understand that you need money, but what's on the other side of the scale? They ruined your manuscript by inserting some stupid nonsense into it. Your book is a part of your soul, and everyone will be trampling on it. And what to do? First of all, refuse the global deal, and then you can think about a new lawsuit and new conditions. Costia will be very unhappy. The main thing is for you to be satisfied. By the way, did Costia order a stylistic expertise? No, he didn't even mention it. I beg you, Ilya, do not agree to anything now and do not sign anything. Do you promise? I promise. Sasha, can we go for a cup of coffee? We'll have one cup. Thank you, but I'm at work right now. I have to run back to the office. Will we see each other again? You know not only where I live, but also where I work. I know. Goodbye. Goodbye. Yes. Sorry. Lapshin is supposed to come to me now, but he's somehow late, and I can't reach him by phone. The film company that your client was suing has completed the bankruptcy procedure. Since you did not take care to include the client in the register, he now has nothing to hope for. And tell me, Kostya, how much did the film company pay you to forget to include the client in the register? Surely less than what had to be paid to all creditors in the end. I have two pieces of news for you, Kostya. First, Lapchin refused your services. He just called me. And second, you don't work here anymore. You're free. Yes. Sasha, come in, sit down. Is something unclear? Sasha. Writer Ilya Lapshin is filing a new lawsuit against the publishing house, not only about financial disputes, but also about protecting his honor and dignity. He wants you to defend him in court. What do you think? But Lapshin already has a lawyer. Constantine is free now. So, what do you think about this lawsuit? 
I think it won't be easy. Our copyright situation is so bad that I'm afraid we'll have to look for the truth in the European Court of Human Rights. You, Sasha, will go to the European Court of Human Rights if necessary. I wish my daughter were more like you. Can I go? You may. Get up. I didn't hear you come in. I said get up. What's wrong with you, Kostya? Come here. Kostya, stop it. Come here, I'm asking you. What's this? What is this? Put your hands down. You'll leave bruises. I'll tell you what this is, Lika. This is a bad housewife. This is a slob and a clumsy person. That's all you. Want the house to be clean? Hire a maid. Want borscht? Let your hags cook it for you. They do it well. What can you do? All you do is sit in bed all day. If you're not disappearing to your workouts, your daddy bought you an expensive university degree. So I have a question for you. Why do you need it if you're not going to work anyway? Listen to me, honey, do something for this house like do the laundry while I earn money for us. By the way, we'll have difficulties with money now, because your daddy fired me. So, that's the problem. And how did you mess up now? I didn't mess up anything, my ex-wife turned him against me. Kostya. What's the name of the agency that sells your apartment? What agency? Lika, I'm asking you, please forgive me, I don't understand what's happening to me. I've been out of sorts all day. Please call your dad. Please call and ask him not to fire me. Listen, I'm almost done dealing with this writer. Ask him not to fire me for now, okay, please. Hi, Dad. Dad, I'm leaving Kostya. Can I come to our apartment? No, thanks. I'll make my own way. Are you really leaving? Kostya, look at yourself, you're a mess. Dad was right. Get lost. Do you think I'll just sit here alone? Just so you know, my ex is still crazy about me. I will just snap my fingers and she'll come running like a puppy. Driver will bring my things. 
Don't bother calling, I won't let you come back anyway. Hello, Sasha, I want to discuss selling our apartment, are you at home? I'll come over, yes. Can I come in? Is Nina Ivanovna home? She'll be back soon. I'm listening. You know, I almost forgot how great your figure is, even a corset doesn't ruin it. Kostia, why did you come here? Oh, come on. Can't I visit my wife? Even if she's my ex. You won't believe it, but I missed your cooking. Meatballs. Why are you getting angry? You used to love cooking for me, remember? I remember, now leave. Don't be so hard on me, really. And I wasn't planning on being a pawn for Zavadsky my whole life. Especially after he fired you. So what? I've already been offered a new position in the legal department of a publishing house. So I don't care about Zavadsky, maybe I'll even start my own firm, Constantine and Partners Law Firm. Sounds great. Will you work for me? On favorable terms. Don't be ridiculous, I know you love me. Are you crazy or something? You never put our apartment up for sale, did you? So what if I didn't? Sue me, what? Glad I screwed up the case. Did you sleep with Zavadsky? Who needs you in your armor anyway? You're just a failure, Kostia. And nobody's to blame but yourself. Now get out of here. Will you regret it later? You're pathetic. Sasha, it's me. Listen, I have some news for you that you won't believe. Mom. Sasha, Sasha. Sasha, what happened? My God, where? Where does it hurt? Everywhere. Wait, I'm calling an ambulance right now. Mom, no need. It's better to call my doctor. Seems like I'll need some additional legs. My God. Well, 
The esteemed lawyer of the esteemed plaintiff is already a quarter of an hour late. She'll be here soon. You should not have refused our initial proposal. War is always bad. A bad peace is better than a good quarrel. I didn't start this war. But you could have stopped it. I apologize, gentlemen, for being late. There were some difficulties. Hey. Hi. Is everything all right? Yes, nothing serious. It won't affect today's meeting. Please present your view on the situation, colleague. That's why we're here, right? Certainly. Here, please, take a look. The results of the stylistic examination, which clearly confirms the fact that my client, Mr. Lapshin, is the author of the manuscript of the novel Wings. In simpler terms, this document proves that Ilya Lapshin is the only indivisible author of the manuscript of the novel Wings, which he published under the name Time Loop as the work of a popular blogger. In other words, this means that no other surname but that of my principal can be on the book's title page. The publishing house is ready to sign a contract with Ilya retroactively, with all the necessary conditions, as well as to pay the due royalty and a fair amount as compensation for moral damage. I'm afraid that's not enough. What? Are you serious right now? What else do you want? We want you to declare the previous manuscript falsified. That is pirate. And on this basis, withdraw all previous manuscripts from retail networks. And one more thing, a fair compensation amount. We need to take a time out and think about everything. Please. What's going on? Sasha, are you feeling okay? Sasha? Water. Sweetie, you can't drink. You are urgently operated on. Urgently? Yes because you could have died from the pain shock. I don't understand. There's someone waiting for you here. Can he come in? Just wanted to make sure everything is okay with you. I'm sorry, I let you down. No, you didn't. I called the publishing house. They agreed to all our terms, don't say anything. Igor found out about everything from his colleagues. He called me. He's very worried about you. He's having surgery now. He said he'll call back as soon as he's done. Mom, we'll discuss this later. What are you doing here? I demand that all outsiders immediately leave the room. The patient needs a good sleep. It's the best medicine right now. I think I'll even miss it. Amazing how you can get used to the bad. Well, it's not bad. It's just the situation that you needed the corset in. I hope I won't need it anymore. Thank you so much. By the way, did anyone suffer because I was operated out of turn? No. The Kodak you had nothing to do with it. Didn't they tell you that you were operated on a commercial basis? Commercial? Yes. I thought you knew that Ilya paid for your surgery. How could I know after anesthesia? 
Are you afraid he'll demand the money back? Of course not. It's just that he's not responding to messages or calls. And I didn't even say thank you. It's still early days. He'll call a hundred more times. Here, please help me fasten this. Are you going somewhere? Yes, having lunch with a friend. You have a new friend? So much has happened while I was in the hospital. Well, he's been around for a while. I can only call him a friend now. By the way, he also wanted to pay for your surgery, but Ilya already paid. And who is this mysterious benefactor? Here he is. Hello? Yes. I'm coming out now. He's here. Let's go meet him. Let's go. Hello, Sasha. By the way, you look very good. And I feel great too. I'm very glad you're recovering. Finish this week and let's go back to the office on Monday. Need a ride? No, thank you. I've grown fond of walking. Then see you soon. <laughs> Who's there? I'm not expecting anyone. It's you. What do you want? Drink. I said drink. Refreshed? Now look and listen carefully. This is a contract to transfer rights to a share in the apartment, which you will now sign in my favor. What? You are transferring your rights and your share in our apartment to me. I become the sole and indivisible owner. Have you gone mad? It's simple, Kostia. If you don't sign this contract now, I'll go to the police. We're based on the previously recorded beatings against you. A criminal case of intentional infliction of grievous bodily harm with a sentence of three to five years will be opened. Do you like this scenario? You can't be such a bitch. You can't leave me with nothing. Why with nothing? You have your favorite car. And where will I live? Where should I go now? To your parents, Kostia. As far as I remember, they have a three-room apartment. Although I don't care, sign it, don't drag it out. Excellent. You have two days to pack up and take care of professional cleaning. I want to move into a clean apartment. Sasha. Sasha. Don't you pity me at all. We're lawyers, Kostia. Pity is not our comrade. Facts and nothing but facts. I hate you. Get out of here.
Hi. Hey. How did you find me? On Gerda's collar. Your old address was engraved. I called and texted you. I saw. You saved my life. I wanted to thank you. Why didn't you answer? I figured you loved someone else and didn't want to interfere. Why did you come now? Gerda misses you a lot. And I do too. I started writing a new book. I named the heroine after you. What is your book about? About space. And about love.